Hello, gorgeous. Hope you're well, vibing high, living your very best life. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. For the ones who have liked and subscribed and commented, thank you all so very much. It means the world to me. Um, for everybody who has joined the group, I'm very excited to um, build this community. If you would like to join a group for people in separation, you can do that. It's in the description of this video. Um, if you would like a personal read, it's also in the description of this video and in my bio, scorpiopriestess.com. You can um, email me as well. Um, those who I have met over FaceTime, it's been a pleasure. It really, really has. Um, I, I have a friend here in PA. So um, we're going to do who is coming towards you, Scorpio. It is early morning here in PA. I'm trying to get some videos recorded before I go on to FaceTime. So um, I wanted to start recording my socials early. Um, I'm an early bird. I didn't used to be, but I guess that comes with age and also being so busy. So um, I got to get up early to get my shit done. You know what I mean, guys? Nevertheless, um, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. You all are going to have a very, very good weekend. Tell yourself you are the bomb who is this fine specimen I see in the mirror when you wake up every morning because you are all wonderful people. You are winners. If you would like to join um, my uh, practice motivational spiritual coaching group um you can email me i am going to make a decision here uh tomorrow is my day off from reading and i'm going to um contact um y'all who have um asked to join and we're going to get um some things going i would like to um have two groups of five and we're going to try some different things and um uh do some whatsapp or zoom um, meetings and uh, do some, you know, fun things here. Um, I am working on being a motivational spiritual coach. That is my long-term goal. So you all would be helping me as, as well. So you can email me um, if you're interested in that up until tomorrow. And then after that, I am going to make a decision. Just want to make sure that we vibe well. Um, no, it doesn't. If I don't choose you, please, it just does not mean that you're not a wonderful person um, because I do have quite a few people um, that I have to choose from. So, um, you know, that being said, let's get into this energy. I have a really good message for you, Scorpio. This is one of my favorites. Vision quest, karmic forgiveness. Let go and let God. Let go and let God, Scorpio. Let God, your God, your spirit, the divine, the universe, whatever, whoever your God is, right? So everything in our visual world is here to teach us something. Nothing appears accidentally. Everything in our visual world is here to teach us something, Scorpio. Nothing appears accidentally. These private underwater creatures remind us to allow the ebb and flow of cycles of life to be fun and instructive and see through the murky depths of our hidden thoughts. There is much we do not know about ourselves. Swimming with these animals takes us on a journey into our unconscious. There we find our spirituality as well as our hidden fears and our deepest desires. If you find yourself caught up in everyday dramas, know that there is something clouding your vision. We have layers and layers of past lives and ego construction that keep us in illusion. Whenever you are ready, you can start clearing these layers of illusion and stop looping, as I call it, by changing your thoughts. Never blame anyone or anything else for the dramas that manifest in your life. No one is right or wrong. When something feels out of balance, go within for direction. Listen to the quiet voice inside your mind. It is the only truth. Know that there are a part of a larger group, soul group that has manifested here on earth to learn how to stop karma, karma permanently. Be kind to yourself and those who, who have manifested with you. Believe it or not, they are your best friends on the other side. You are a brave soul who has signed up for one of the toughest courses 
your life, right? This is the toughest place to be. Not, not dying, not the other side, not the fight. Here, guys, this is not easy. This life is fucking hard, man. Like, we are constantly thrown all sorts of, uh, of lessons and softballs and, 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 and things that, that possibly could beat another person down. But as Scorpios, we are so transformative. We, we roll this shit, right? We know how to transform. So whatever is going on in your life right now, it is just karma clearing. You are learning lessons. If you start thinking about it in that way, that you are, are learning a lesson, no matter how hard things seem right now, no matter how, how um, bleak, you know, you feel how low you feel. These are only lessons and there's lessons in this pain. There is lessons in this pain and you are clearing out this karma. When we embrace your shadow, you become whole and strong together. You and your shadow can fight forces that keep you unbalanced. You are stronger than you think, Scorpio. You wouldn't be here in this dimension if you were not a fucking warrior. She didn't say that I did, <laughs> but affirmation, I am not alone. My higher self always flies with me. I love this one. I'm going to write this one down. Sometimes I write them down in our readings and I'm writing this one down. You are not alone. Your higher self always flies with you. Always. You are always being guided by the divine. You are always being guided by your higher self, by your spirit. And if something has happened or hasn't happened or, or hasn't came together the way you want it, know that it is divine protection. There is a reason for it. There is a reason for rejection. There's a reason for the pain. There's something to be learned in the pain. There, there's, there's a lesson to be learned. And if you start learning the lessons, You'll stop repeating the cycle. You'll stop dragging in same person, different fucking meat suit. You'll stop, you know, going through the cycle. Guys, I, I was in a loop for a long time in my life. Money, men, you name it. I was going round and round and round, never being able to get out of the cycle until I went through my awakening and started to really understand what was going on. So please know that... Um, everybody's been there. I mean, and if they haven't, well, good for them. But um, I've been there. And when I talk to you, I talk to you out of love and understanding, not out of judgment. But for some of you, you've got to get off this loop, baby. You have got to and start learning the lesson. Really start learning the lesson. So a lot of karma clearing, a lot of lessons being learned right now in your life, which tells me that there's been a lot going on, a lot of pain and a lot of chaos possibly, right? I feel chaotic energy. I just sense it. I feel for some of you, you're very sad. I feel for some of you, you're angry. And I feel for others, you're bored, right? You're just in this place of like nothing's happening. You're just dragging along like you're just ready. So I promise you a lot is going to start happening. There's lessons in the boredom. There's lessons in the chaos and there's lessons in the sadness. We learn the most lessons in sadness and pain. We, we really do, guys. And, and, and when you look back on this, how, how do you want it to transform you? Don't let it beat you down. Don't let it make you um, weaker. Allow it to make you stronger, build you up. I know a lot of you are going to come out the other side of whatever you're going in in, so, in such a great place. You're, you're going to remember this conversation. Um, for some of you, you've already came out of that. So let's see. What is coming in love? Who is coming in love for Scorpio? Hopefully something good, guys. Union, baby. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Union, union, union. For a lot of you, you're about to come into union. You're about to come into, you're, you're going back into union. Mm -mm -mm. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. You are preparing right now. Right now is your preparation time. What do you want to do to build yourself up and get yourself ready for this beautiful union you're about to come into, right? Think of it in that way too. If you're lonely and you're looking for love, what can you do right now? Because wow, guys, marriage, we have union, marriage, and soul. Get out of here. You are preparing for this. 
A marriage of the soul is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. You could have already met your divine counterpart. You could have already um, been in connection. Oh my gosh. My new, my new easel, uh, I had my old one broke, my good one broke, so my new easel is going to be here today. Oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry guys. Who's chaotic? Me, I guess I'm chaotic. Maybe that's the chaos I was feeling. You are about to though, you're, you're preparing right now to come into union, to come into union with either somebody you had have been with in the past, or a new person, it's going to feel like home to you. It's going to feel like you've known this person forever. Really, really, Scorpio, it is. Holy Spirit, what is coming? Who is coming towards Scorpio in love? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantic, romantically attractive. A lot of you are already in separation, right? A lot of you are separated here from your divine counterpart, separated from a soulmate, separated from a karmic. Um, and loving yourself first is going to um, bring this beautiful union into you. You attract more romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Enjoy the present moment. Like I said, what can you do? What can Scorpio do to prepare Scorpio self for union. What can you do to prepare yourself to be in a beautiful, beautiful union? Maybe there's something going on that you aren't ready yet. Maybe you're just not ready to be in union yet. The divine feels that you have to continue to work on something, right? So what is it that you need to work on? If you're looking for love, maybe there's a few things that you still need to, to work on or a few things that you still need to get down. So what? Who cares? If they're, so what? I don't care if everybody around you is married. I don't care if you feel like your, your time clock's ticking. My mother got remarried at 58 and is with a man that treats her way better than my dad ever treated her, right? It doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. If you're 29, you have no children and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I had my last son at 38 years old. Guys, life happens. It is what it is. What comes to you, what is yours will never pass you by. Um, so standing in your power, being in your confidence, being confident with you is going to help, um, bring in this beautiful union and spirit is saying, express your love. If there's somebody who you love and, um, you want to express this, or there's somebody you feel attracted to and you want to express this because I look at this new love bottom of the deck or a reconnection of love. A lot of you, you're not going to be um, in this place for long because you're about to meet somebody or your old person is coming back. Holy Spirit, tell me, what is attraction and who's coming towards Scorpio? What is this attraction? What did I say? Wait, the timing's not right. It's just right now, I, I, I've been feeling this, okay guys? The timing's not quite right. That doesn't mean you're going to be alone forever. That doesn't mean you're never going to reconnect or you're never going to connect with um, another soulmate or somebody who really, really you find extremely attractive that you could marry. It just means right now there is some reason that you are not connecting. It's not quite... <coughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me. That just came out of nowhere. Wow. Wow. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Integrity. So is that the reason why you're in separation? Because it didn't align with your values and your morals? Um, good for you. Like you can't deal with somebody who um, doesn't, isn't equally yoked with you. It does not work. You end up having issue after issue. Divine counterpart, they be. Wow, Scorpio, you have a very, a very strong connection coming. What is coming towards Scorpio? Who is Scorpio going to want to express their love to? <laughs> Guys, you are going to have your twin come back and a soulmate. And a soulmate. Come on in. 
and it is in the here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. For some of you, you all already know this new person. For a lot of you, we have financial challenges coming out. Somebody could be um, dealing with financial challenges right now. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe y'all need to get your finances up. Maybe your person needs to get their finances up. But whatever the case is here, you have a twin flame and a soulmate coming your way, Scorpio. I mean, get the fuck out of here. You are not going to know what to do. No wonder you're going to have to love yourself. Somebody here possibly strategically snuck away from you, lied to you, or strategically is sneaking back into you. So we're going to get clarifying here. Um, what is integrity, spirit? So something didn't align with you. And even if they left you, the fact that you would stand up for yourself could have been the reason why they left because you were like not down with the fuckery. So this person said, Ad adios, I'm going to leave. But that's okay because they did not align with your morals or your values. You cannot be with a person who is, is completely, um, you know, doing just horrible things to other people or lying or cheating or doing whatever Scorpio if you're not down with that right if you're not down with that kind of life you can't be with a person who is that doesn't work sweetie you try you know you'll try to be like all right I'm gonna deal with this and and, and their issues it just doesn't work but this person here still wants to come in and bring you their cup now for some of you you could have meant your twin and there was third parties or they partied a lot, went out a lot. They were always out partying. And that was not, this was not what you wanted, right? Like this was not what you wanted. For some of you, this person was just a soulmate and you're actually about to meet your twin. Tell me about twin flame. For some of you, this person, you didn't want to be a third party. You did not want to be a third party. Your twin is a wounded ass warrior right now. Or your twin has you feeling like a wounded warrior. What is twin flame? And they are coming towards you as well. This person's energy is already, they're, they're, they are hugging your energy right now. This person could be an air sign, water sign, fire sign. And uh, you had to be off with their head. Or, you know, they cut you out. One of you cut the other one out of your lives. One of you, you could be in court with your twin right now. You could have a female lawyer. Some of you have dark hair, red hair, possibly. Um, a lot of you possibly um, had to walk away from your twin and it has you feeling extremely beat up. And that's why the timing, what's up with timing spirit? The timing's not right. Yeah, this was definitely your empress or your emperor. Okay, the timing was not right between y'all. There was something about timing here. They could have been still in another relationship that they needed to get out of or something like that. Something could have happened publicly, but this person wants success with you now. Now, something could have happened. This person could care too much about what others think. They could constantly um, worry about, you know, what the community thinks or how they look or their image or something like that. And that just did not align with you. There was something about your twin here that did not align with you. Now, maybe it wasn't that they had low morals, okay? Maybe it was just that y'all didn't have the same kind of lifestyle, want the same kind of lifestyle. Maybe you wanted to be at home, taking care of um, a home, cooking, you know, doing, like, having a home. I'm a homebody myself. Like, I love to be home, and I love my home. It's my sanctuary, right? So, for a lot of you, that may be the case, and this person constantly wanted to be out running the streets. Like, that could have been an issue. That's the difference between you just don't don't align, right? You're, you don't align. So there was something here. This person could have also been very stubborn and always wanted things their way. And they, they were dealing with third parties. So you had no choice. The timing was not right. The timing wasn't right. You could have met this person at work. They could have started collaborating with somebody else or collaborate. Maybe they worked all the time. Maybe their third party was work. Maybe their third party was children right? They could have been totally preoccupied with something else and the timing just was not right between y'all. And so you, it had to, that doesn't mean that you're lesser. It doesn't mean that this person doesn't love you. It just means that the timing wasn't right. The timing wasn't right for y'all. What does Scorpio's person want to say to them? What does this twin want to say to Scorpio? What does this twin want to say, spirit? We have three. 
I'm hiding the way I truly feel. The way we left things haunt me. I try to push it away. See, something happened here with your twin. I feel like this twin is an old person. This soulmate is a new person. This is what we always get when we do what, who's coming towards you, old and new. I didn't think I could be what you needed me to be. Morals, values, right? They did not have the same morals and values as you did. They just didn't, Scorp. They didn't have the same morals and values as you. That does not mean that you are lesser. That does not mean that you are not a bomb ass person or that you are not the, the best thing that ever happened to this person. It just means y'all weren't aligned. Your vibrations were not aligning and the timing was not right. So let's talk about this new soulmate, this beautiful, awesome, sexy new soulmate coming your way. Um, this could be a Pisces or another Scorpio. Um, now, for some of you, you had an ending with this soulmate as well. This could be two old people coming back. <laughs> a Scorp. This could be two old people coming back to you. Or this soulmate here is going through a major transformation. Okay? They're in hangman right now, um, trying to decide what they want. Currently, right now, this person... Um, you could know them. They could. You could work with them, okay? This person could be somebody that you have met at work or you will meet at work, right? This person could be working on their self. They could be working on um, going through this huge transformation. Now, you possibly know this soulmate as well. This person could be in your, you, you know, in your uh, atmosphere or whatever in your uh vicinity of people okay tell me about here and now because whatever the case is the person yeah see so you've manifested this you have you manifested this Scorpio this beautiful new beginning you have been patient with yourself wow what a beautiful spiritual connection y'all have a lot of spiritual cards here um you have manifested this Scorpio um this is something you manifested because you're healing Look at all of these beautiful spiritual cards. You are healing, my friend. The magician and the star, Scorp. With death, you manifested this out of your healing, out of knowing now what you want, knowing that you do not want to be with somebody who does not align with your values and your morals. You have manifested this. This could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo. Like I said, another Scorpio, an earth sign. Tell me about finances. Now, this is the thing. I feel for either you could have worked with one or both of these people, okay? Yeah, justice is coming in here. Somebody could be dealing with court issues that's um, affecting their finances. One or both of these people could be dealing with court issues. Um, one or I feel it's one or the other, not both of them. But somebody here uh, could have could be filing bankruptcy, could be going through divorce, could be going for child support, could be doing something that's affecting their finances. Um, that and I feel like for a lot of you, it's your old person. They're dealing with a lot of bad karma here. They have been wiped out. They're 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 getting sat down. I feel like you were this person's wish fulfillment and I feel like they really hurt you bad. And for that, the divine is literally fucking up their finances, taking a lot from them. Oh my goodness, baby. Yes. But you are healing. You are getting up off the ground. We're going to patch you all up one damn sword uh, wound at a time, right? We're going to patch you up and you're going to keep it pushing and you have a new person coming your way when you're ready, when you're ready. I'm not telling you to rush. I'm just telling you that when you're ready, we're going to slide these swords out, drag your lifeless body up off that fucking ground and take this healing energy. I feel like swearing today for some reason. I really feel like swearing. Please excuse me. Um, but there's something here that's going to be redemption. And it's worth saying the F word for. There is something here that you, because of loving yourself first, because of being so strong, because of your self-respect, because of your integrity that you are going to get. It is going to be a gift from the divine. It is going to be something that you have manifested. And while, meanwhile, this person who slammed these daggers into you is dealing with bad karma, 
you are going to meet a new soulmate, Scorpio, or you're going to meet your actual twin. So you take it as it resonates. If you're not sure if this past person was your twin or not, then maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a soulmate. Holy Spirit, who is coming towards Scorpio? Union of opposites. So, yeah. See, your twin was really dark and you were really light. That, that, that was one of the issues. Now, you all were supposed to balance one another out, but your twin was not was not heeding the call. They were not taking the light that you were giving them. They were just still staying in the dark, doing things that were slimy, deal, doing things that were not, not cool. Lying, cheating, doing like um, shadow self things. Right. And I feel like this person wants to do it again, do it over and over again. This twin here, um, there is a invincible spiritual power, though, um, behind this person, pushing them to get their act together, um, because this was a union of dark and light. This was a union here of opposites. And um, tell me about this twin spirit. What's up with this twin? And now they want to come on in. There's a 50-50 chance spirit saying at this time it could go either way. This person could either get it together and come to the light and join us, or they could stay in the dark. What is timing not right? They could stay in the dark. Yeah, see, something was going on with this, this person in the justice system. Um, that could have been one of the reasons why you all couldn't get together is they had a pending court case. They had a, they were going through a divorce. They were going through something here that just, uh, it was not the right time. Maybe you were going through a court. Maybe you were going through a divorce, right? But whatever the case is, this person could have been a fire sign, could have been a Libra, um, yeah, they were in victim mentality here. They had a lot of restrictions, right? There was a lot of confusion and you had tunnel vision on this person, Scorpio. And we do that, right? When I am with a man and I am in a commitment, I won't even look at another motherfucker. Like I won't even see them. I don't even see other men. Like, but that in some ways is good and in other ways it's bad because we are so loyal. We can be loyal to a fault. And I feel like a lot of you had tunnel vision. You only seen this person. And now that they're gone, you're like, you don't even want to see other people. But Squirt, I promise you, love, this new soulmate is somebody you manifested that's going to be perfect for you. Now, you may never feel that intensity like you felt with your twin, but you will feel intense. You will feel love, right? It might not be exactly, but it's going to be very, very beautiful and very fulfilling. And they're going to align with your morals and your values because there's a lot of things that is that cannot be changed between you and your twin. A lot of spilled milk, a lot of spilled cups, a small and big ones, disappointment. Um, they want to leave the mistakes in the past here and come on back in. They want to leave it in the past. They're strong-willed here. They're confident. Well, they're trying to gain their confidence. This could be an Aries. Um, they're trying to regain their confidence. Now, let's talk about this soulmate. Who is this soulmate? Tell me about the soulmate spirit. Sub, subliminal you are manifesting this okay look at this going within self-reflection desire to know D this person here first of all it's your it's your karma it's your karma this is your good karma here cause and effect karma dharma baby you have manifested this soulmate um with your deep thoughts with those deep that deep beautiful heart of yours whatever you have been thinking about you're manifesting this you're manifesting this this lover uh, the divine is bringing you it in okay because of karma now this person could be um famous Honestly, they could be famous. They could have a platform, right? They could, um, they could be uh, in a. Maybe they are in a play. They could be in a band. They could have some kind of fame. It doesn't have to be huge fame, but they have some kind of fame. Possibly, they also are going to be very um, focused on you. If they don't, you know, at the very least, whether they're famous or they're not, they're going to be extremely focused on you. They really, really are. This person here, though, um, 
is uh, trying to recover from something. They're proceeding carefully as well. Um, they're trying to be disciplined. They're conquering their self. They're learning a new skill. This person could be a trainee at your job, a trainee at work, okay? They're trying to work um, to learn something. They also could be a teacher. It's time, Spirit, saying. It's time now, Scorpio. You are manifesting this, and the divine is bringing it to you. And um, when I say it's time, okay, I mean it's time, like, soon i'm not saying get do it now hurry up you got to do it tomorrow i'm saying um it's time right now though to decide do i want to wait around for this twin to get their act together or do i want something new in my life do i want to meet this new person um because it will be your karma it will be your justice either way whatever you do is your karma this person coming back to you and um trying to make it right, even if you do not want it, is going to be your karma. Because I feel like um, there's been a lot of disagreements. This past person was a fucking headache, right? Was nothing but a headache. It really, it could have even made you physically sick. But Spirit is saying you have free will here. You have many options and you're, you're welcome to choose any of them. Whoever or whatever, you're welcome to choose. But there's anxiety here. There's worry. And you're doing something repetitively. And baby, I feel like it could be going back to this twin. So remember, if you don't get off the wheel, Squirt, it's just going to keep going. It's just going to keep going until you start learning the lessons. Holy Spirit, please tell me. Who is coming towards Scorpio? This soulmate or the twin and what it's going to be very unexpected it could be in your friends group online it could be a friend of a friend it could be a friend at work it could be a friend's brother or sister it could be something like that but whatever the case is it's going to be very unexpected now you could be out with friends and run into this twin again with legal matters damn this twin is going through a lot of a lot of things that held up y'all's relationship. What did I say? Social media. You're, you possibly could meet this new person on social media at a party. And this new person here is going through an awakening. They are. Now, your old person could be too. But I just feel it from this soulmate. There's something about them going through an awakening. If this is a past soulmate, they could be going through an awakening. Y'all, this could be two people from your past for some of you. Yeah, you're you're fearful. You're fearful to go into a relationship. You really are. And um that's understandable because this past person here had you in a third party. This soulmate here seems to be a new person who is going through an awakening, but they could be a past person too that um had you in a third party and um both of these people could have done you wrong in some way and now the divine is sending them back because they need to pay their karma or they need to at the very least apologize to you, right? They need you need some kind of apology. Holy Spirit, please give me a time frame here for Scorpio. What is the time frame for Scorpio? You need to use your intuition. You could be dreaming about one or both of these people, okay? Because there's this was a past life, deeply rooted relationship that you've had with both of them. One of them, though, has hidden intentions, and be careful about that, Scorp. One of them's intentions are not well, and you'll, you're going to know. You're going to know, but you're having dreams. Follow your intuition here. And um, so we have one month to 14 weeks. A lot of you are going to meet a um, a new person. Could be a Cancer, a Virgo, or another Scorpio. Um, and a lot of you are going to have this past person want to come in and work on things. They're going to want to work on things, but they're going to have hidden intentions. Um, now, maybe they're just going to come at you trying to act like they want to be your friend and really their intentions is going to be um, for more, right? Maybe they're just going to act like, Scorpio, can we be friends? But really, they want more. Um, they, they could still be wrapping up some kind of legal matter. A lot of them are going through legal problems, guys, and it's karma. Last corner moon and waxing. Last quarter moon and waxing. Crescent. I am putting all the pieces together. I find healing and letting go. I find healing in letting go. Another great affirmation. 
Say it to yourself every day. I find healing and letting go. While you're getting in the shower, while you're getting ready for work, just tell yourself over and over, I find healing and letting go. And honestly, affirmations will train that brain of yours, that beautiful, big, in-depth brain and heart of yours to pop, go straight to the, the positive instead of the negative. Angel number 777, one of my favorites. I am in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is a part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow. Yes. Some of you may be seeing 7-7 seven, seven a lot. You may start seeing 7-7 seven, seven a lot. I love you all and I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. You're going to have a great weekend. Tell yourself, all I do is win. Universe, I am open to receive all of my blessings. Bring them to me. Bring them to me, universe. I'm ready here right now for my blessings. Believe it and watch what will happen. Mwah. Love and light.